to travel somewhere so today is Friday tomorrow is Saturday and I'm gonna be speaking at an LGBTQ plus youth conference in New Haven Connecticut it's gonna be on the New Haven college campus I'm gonna go see if I can get my nails fixed because I have two nails that just went missing this week um, so sorry I did not vlog the red carpet you're gonna have to go on my Instagram to get all of that tea it was so much fun I said that my nails broke they actually broke before the carpet when I was getting ready I was lotioning up my leg and my nails just popped off. So, it's about 12 noon. I need to be on the Long Island Railroad. Well, it's probably like 12.20 now. It's 12.07, I need to be on the Long Island Railroad by 2.30 at the latest. I would like to get on the 206 train. So I'm really just going to go see if they can get me right in the chair. If I'm not sitting down in the chair by 12.30, I'm leaving and I'm just gonna have to get a press on on the way. Yo, I just gooped and gagged and shagaggeried myself. I was literally walking out of the house. I got an email that said, Hi, are you having troubles logging onto the call? And baby, I gagged. I almost forgot that I had a meeting today at 12 o'clock. And this is for an, an entirely different partnership. And like, God is really blessing right now. And I say right now, because sometimes he, you know, he likes to teach the girls a lesson. So now that it's 1230, I'm going to literally scoot to the nail salon. We gotta go. All right, y'all, so I made it to the train on time. The Uber, she was so funny. Oh my God. She, she when I came out the house, she was outside the car like, honey, 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 where you going? Where you going? I said, I'm going to so Long Island Railroad. Long Island Railroad, Long Island Railroad, Long Island Railroad. She's like, oh, I thought you were going to the airport. I was going to say, uh-uh, girl, we're going to for that. She was like, get in the car. What is your train? I said, five minutes. She said, let's go. I said, oh, bitch. She's with the shits. I, 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 I live for this. My train is coming now, so everything is going good. I'm going to be there 20 minutes before my train departs, so that's perfect timing to board at Amtrak. I think you can only board like 25 minutes before. So I'm going to go right in. I'm probably going to get me like an iced coffee or something. Maybe like a little croissant situation. Because I have not eaten today. I just drank coffee. So I have terrible eating habits, but I'm going to eat. Hey y'all, so I made it on the train. What's going on? I do have my mask with me, but it's, nobody's sitting next to me, so I'm chilling. I did get my iced coffee. I actually just got the cold brew, the salted caramel cold brew. Extra pump of hazelnut, extra shot of espresso to give me some energy to get through the rest of this day. I need to plow through the rest of this day. I need to do some social media stuff, you know, on, on, around the legendary premiere and to give the girls my opinion on the first three episodes. I already know what I want to eat tonight. I want some good sushi, so hopefully I can find a sushi spot. Thank you. No, I'm not here for it. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna talk to you later. This is a hotel room door, so that means I'm on the inside of it. Um, I don't know. This isn't a major, like, this isn't a big city. And y'all know, I am I am a big city girl. I need to know that if I scream, someone's going to hear me. I am in New Haven, Connecticut. I am downtown, but bitch, I don't know if I'm going to give you from the hallway to the door. I'm Y'all know how I feel about hotels. I'm spooked by hotels. But I'm in, I'm in the middle of time, so I know how to act. Like, girl, I feel like, bitch, can somebody come through that? Like, cause this opens. This oh, this this. Who in the vents? I'm putting something there so they can't just jump out that vent and get me, girl. I don't like that. I watch so much TV. This is the room. It's a it's a very nice hotel though, and I was talking to the concierge downstairs, and it was very like um you know this is a safe area, but girl they all say that until you get snatched or somebody trying you. Here's the closet. Here's my little bag. So. I am going to be putting my things away soon, but for now I'll just for now I'll just leave this out here. I'm not going to do the most. I'll leave this here. We have a full length mirror that we're working with, so that's great. You know, it's a one person bed. We love that king. 
for the queen. I'm getting ready to get busy here, but I think I'm gonna go get something to eat first to replenish myself. I can see mountains. I see the church. I'm close to something, girl. But yeah, so that is what is going on now. I'm excited to get on stage. I'm excited to speak. I'm excited to talk, inspire, motivate. But I'm honestly more excited to figure out what I'm about to eat. I'm thinking I might save the sushi for tomorrow because it's kind of lighter and I can like order that for lunch. So we'll probably stop at the, ouch! We'll probably stop at the wine shop. Um, I'll be scratching the shit out of my head. And I have, I get hair bumps. Like, I just, I don't know. I also got a press on. I got some press ons for the two nails that I have that are missing. Look at that. So, yeah, let's figure out what we're gonna eat. All right, y'all, so it is raining, like, as you can see. I don't know if you can, just believe me. It's not super hard, but it's not soft. So I'm gonna need literally like an umbrella to leave the hotel. All right, y'all, so the hotel had umbrellas that you can like take and borrow. And I guess maybe this is the thing a lot of hotels have, but I just didn't know about it. But yeah, so now I can take my walk and I don't have to buy an umbrella, so let's go. So quick update, I went to Rite Aid and the wine beat store that the concierge downstairs there told me to uh, told me to go to. I like the wine spot. The writing was PNG out. They don't got no bags or motherfucking handles. Now I'm holding all of these bags. I don't even want to go to the goddamn restaurant with all these fucking bags. Like this is too much. Oh, but they got a Chipotle. I should just go to fucking Chipotle and get the food and hit it back to the hotel. I'm really feeling like that, but I'm really trying to go to one of these restaurants. That's a bar and taco place. If anything, I'm coming back to this motherfucking Chipotle, but there's no more overhead things. So I gotta use this umbrella. So I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to wherever I'm getting about. I don't know, but let's find out who got the best food or got a menu that I want to eat from. All right, let me call this taco place and see if I need a reservation. Hi, I was calling to see if you need a reservation. The name is Milan, just just one, just a table for one. No, I'm, at, I'm, I'm I just wasn't sure if you needed a reservation, like if you're over busy or not. Okay, so the taco place must have been lit when I was walking past, or maybe it's way bigger than what I thought, because he's given, if you come now, it's not gonna be a problem. But there was another place called Barcelona that looked really fab and actually had food that I was looking to eat. It's giving my Vibe. And it's a wine bar. Let's go. Hi, I was calling to see if you are you all are busy and if you're accepting walk-ins. It's just me, just one. Thank you so. Alrighty, my name is Milan Renee. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Beautiful name. We'll see you soon. Thanks. I hope you like boys, drag queens, and non-binary girls. That's what you get for flirting over the phone. Men are hilarious. Let's go see Renee. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back out here. But I like fish. Yeah. Ooh. So I'm on my way to Barcelona. I said I was going to actually walk the opposite way so you all can see that way because it's actually really nice. So no get me should be here in like 10 minutes to come get me for the event they're gonna take me over i don't go on until i think 3 or 3 30 so i have more than enough time to do my makeup and go over my speech and do all of that all right y'all i am really hungry which is crazy because i ate so much last night i'm gonna eat this donut this Krispy cream donut that i still have and get some coffee along the way clearly i have put my makeup there but now I'm about to put it back in the bag so hey y'all so after driving through the Yale campus I'm now in my dressing room which is so cute and it's all set up when I was walking up I was like oh my god this is so cute but yeah, I'm about to make some coffee, play some music, and become the girl in the picture. <laughs> this was the look for today. Y'all like it? 
Get into it. New Haven girl, it was cute. Yeah, I just did my keynote speech. This is my first keynote speech. I've spoken before, but baby, your girl was nervous, but I think I definitely got my points across. I said what I needed to say and gave what needed to be given, darling. So yes, I'm getting ready to pack up all of this stuff, including- All right, y'all, so I am um, I had a tuna sandwich for lunch. I got me these. I also got me like a nitro cold brew, which I love. I'm so thankful that they got this for me. I have waters. I mean, it's all kinds of stuff. Here. I have a charcuterie board, but we're gonna call it a charcuterie board. I like calling it that. Definitely taking some of these snacks home. No tea. They booked my train to get back to New York for 4.35, so I have to hit it because the train station is like 15 minutes away. It's burning the pot outside, so it's probably gonna be mad people outside. And I still need to change and take this makeup out. So I'm going to rush to pack, and then I'm going to take my makeup off and talk to you all for a quick second. Yeah, quick. I got to run around like a crazy woman. All right, y'all. So I got about three minutes to take my makeup off and talk to y'all real quick because I do not train. But I did get here at like 11. 50. I literally chatted on the phone all day, went over my speech, did my makeup, at my leisure. My speech went really well for it to be my first keynote speech. But getting that first big one out the way in front of a nice sized crowd was like really, really scary. But I did it. All right, girl. We're coming to head back to New York City. Do I got it all? Almost, almost this close. The car is outside. Uh, one of the staff members said, I would have to scratch myself with this flower. I want all these flowers off. They're gorgeous. But they did get caught on everything. Yeah. Okay, man. You can open it. I'm literally just about to zip it. You can just zip that bag up yeah, like a pack. I'm vlogging, so if you want to just sign it. Hi! No, that one back there. Don't forget your tech box. Oh, that one. Okay, thank you so much. It should be right here tomorrow. I found out. I found out. This guy looks like I wanted to ask, but I didn't want to grab it. No, you don't open it, man. Are you Are you a follower? Yes. I had a feeling. Yes, I do, babe. Program. Yes, you did it. I don't work out. I don't work out. We love that. He'll see clips scattered. Meow, meow, meow. Alright, y'all. It's time to hit it. All right, y'all, so I am back in New York. I'm in Grand Central Station. I got off the train with an attitude because it was so packed getting off of that train. Anytime I be somewhere where it's a lot of space, I come back to New York, I be irritated until I get outside and I see the buildings, and I see the city and stuff, and I be like, Ooh. But y'all, it don't matter how long you live in New York, how much you love New York, the train will always piss you off. Like, it's made to piss you off. I'm in Grand Central. I don't think the E comes to Grand Central. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta. Um, I gotta go to the E train and then. Cause I don't think I feel like walking from up here. Cause I'm at 42nd. I don't feel like walking 12 blocks. I can just get on the train, go to Penn Station, and get my ass on my railroad and go. Huh? And we are outside. See, this feels great. Now this I can do, right? We're back in the city. We're back where we're supposed to be, you know? I don't even know if I'm walking to this E-train because I don't got my glasses on, so let me get my life together and um, 
Yeah, but I mean, it's on this block. Alrighty, you all. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. As you can see, I'm back in the his house. Ah. Ah. Mermaid picked me up from the train station. Thank God. I would have walked because, I mean, the weather was nice, but baby, these feet are tired i'm tired i have to use the restroom again because i had a coffee i had two apple juices i had water and i only used the restroom once before i started my travel back home so i had to release these i don't know what this is i do not remember ordering anything let's open this up i guess special delivery for a cool person what have you done for Mother Earth lately? Recycle this box. Okay, this is private policy New York. I don't know what this is, but let's see. I just got out of the shower. I had to wash the travel wash. This is from private policy New York. Y'all, I don't order clothes. I don't. I go to the store to shop. Let's see, I'm excited. Okay, this is the envelope. Private policy New York. Z Hi, V. Milan Garcon. Thank you so much for your support of our digital spring, your inspiration. I hope you will enjoy this cute little outfit. I have a wonderful summer. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. I do remember this. They got this to me fast. Private policy. Y'all got this to me fast. And y'all sent it back. They asked me some pieces, like what pieces did I want, like from this collection. They're just like, oh, you know, thanks for loving the brand. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, private policy. Oh, this is so cute, so cute, so kind. Get into it. This is so cute. <gasps> oh my God, this is gorgeous, baby. Well, how do I do that bottom titty part, or is that a top part? I don't know. But the pants is what made me do it. Ooh, baby. Oh, I'm going to have to get these altered. Yeah, I'm just going to take these to get them altered this week. Because <laughs> I don't know how I can alter these. I have to alter it on an end scene. Next week, we going to D.C. for Garcon Weekend. So, my life is pretty much a travel vlog at this point. I don't want to call the vlogs travel vlogs because... It's not necessarily a travel vlog. This is my life. So, um, just come on for the ride. Keep your seatbelts on because, you know, she can get bumpy real quick. <coughs> See y'all on my next one.